Hey guys, what's going on? Aaron Bennett here in this video. I'm just going to do an update on crypto.com, talk a little bit about the price, what I'm seeing here on the charts, take a look at some of the top Twitter accounts, the official crypto.com Twitter, then take a look at Eric and Ziani's Twitter, seeing if there are any updates there, as well as Chris Marzalek, the CEO. So starting out with the blog, where I usually like to start out to see if anything happened, anything happened that I missed. There are some NFT updates. There was a Cryptmas bingo pack, so some sort of giveaway. They added Rune to the exchange, USDC spot trading race winner. So if you probably traded a bunch of money, uh, had a big trading volume, you won some cash, some USDC. The 76ers Legacy 4 Bucket collect to earn exclusive memorabilia and experiences. So it looks like kind of NFT collections for the 76ers. They listed a new coin, API3. I have never heard of that. <laughs> so take a look at some other stories. They added the coin radar. Crypto.com joins the LA's Angel City Football Club as a founding partner, becoming the first major crypto platform to officially partner directly with a women's professional sports team. So that's pretty cool. And then some more stuff about the Loaded Lions NFT holders called the Main Net. Very, very clever. Some sweepstakes, some updates for the derivatives. And yeah, I think that basically covers it for the last few weeks. So nothing huge happening, just kind of plugging away. So their Twitter references this blog story. So I'll check it out. Crypto.com Mars NFTs have landed. Starting today, the exclusive NFT collection will be airdropped to the lucky few who discovered a hidden QR code in the FFTB film. Satoshi's name on an astronaut's collar wasn't the only Easter egg in the Fortune Favors the Brave, the first film. Five in total were hidden, and one took viewers straight to Mars. So apparently there was this NFT on Mars. I did not watch the movie close enough to see that. The lucky few who found that and scanned the QR code were taken to a hidden website where they could submit their email address to claim their reward. The series contains five unique artworks, each with a fixed number of additions. That's pretty funny. The earlier someone found the secret and claimed the NFT, the rarer the collectible will be. That's actually kind of cool. Uh, little little uh, Easter eggs. Who would have freaking thought? I guess anything they put out, you never know when there's going to be some uh, some NFT collection in there. So keep your eyes peeled. Obviously, I missed that one. So the next story, taking a look, story about the 76ers uh, basically covering their basketball uh, team. Taking a look at another Crypto.com arena. So this is sweet. The Crypto.com logo has taken over the floor of uh, the Staples Center. It's no longer called the Staples Center. It's called the Crypto.com Arena. I still think that is crazy. Uh, I still think that is crazy in a good way. So I went to school at UCLA. You know, I lived in LA for a while. The Staples Center was something that you just kind of assumed would always be the Staples Center. And now it is the Crypto.com Arena. And I think it's a pretty, uh, I think it's cool, you know, some people are like, oh, that was wasted money. I'm like, nah, I think it's actually pretty cool. <laughs> so I don't know. That's just my thoughts. So this is another video of them building uh, and adding the Crypto.com logo to the floor. Crypto.com is basically retweeting some highlights from the 76ers because they are literally a brand partner. There are some updates with the Kronos Network. It looks like this one, um, Engine Coin was added. And let's take a look at the next Twitter, Eric Anziani. He is the COO of Crypto.com. So he tweeted about Tectonic Phi. I covered this in a recent video talking about how you can stake your VVS and earn Tonic. Tonic is the coin for Tectonic Phi. And apparently there is $503 million. So this is kind of competing with Aave. So Crypto.com, Kronos, they really want to win this war of DeFi. They want to win the war of everything. They want to win NFTs. They want to win retail with the credit cards or the debit cards. They want to win everything. <laughs> so they're really tackling a lot here. And taking a look at Chris Marzalek's Twitter, he is the CEO of Crypto.com. Probably going to cover a lot of the same things. So kind of a retweeting, a Merry Christmas talking about the Crypto.com Arena, of course. 
And it looks like he is just retweeting what other people have said. He retweeted a story saying Crypto.com is a household name, in large part thanks to the $700 million deal for the naming rights of the Lakers home. So let's take a peek at the price of Crypto.com. Right now, we are at a price of 59 cents down 5.5% today. So Crypto.com had an enormous run. We all know it. We all saw it. Most of us participated in it. If you didn't, I am pretty darn sure we will see another massive run. <laughs> I mean, crypto adoption has not even begun to get started yet. And Crypto.com has the best domain in the industry. And they have possibly the best name recognition in the space. So will Crypto.com go up again? I would bet my life on it. I would actually, I would absolutely bet my life on it. So we saw it come down a little bit from a tie of like 96 cents. It hit a recent low here, December 20th. So about seven, eight days ago of 48 cents or so. Then it reached back up to, I believe, like 68, 69 cents. And now we came down to 57. So we are finding a support range right now. You can see it kind of went this low here again. If you scroll in, um, it, it hit that 48 cent mark December 4th. And then we hit around the same thing a couple days ago, about a week ago. So it looks like this is a nice floor. Hopefully we don't break it unless we see a massive you know, crypto dump. <laughs> if the entire market has a correction, then yeah, we'll probably come back down to this support level at around 37 cents. So that's what I'm looking at right now. Nothing concerns me about crypto.com in the short term or the long term. I am incredibly bullish on this company. They're investing into the future of the entire crypto space. And I think they're they're gonna crush it. You know, I made a video a couple days ago talking about a $14, $15 prediction for crypto.com. And that wouldn't be too crazy. That would not be too crazy. And I explained in that video exactly how we got to those numbers. And $15 from where we are right now is less than a 30X. So a 10X would be like six bucks right now. A 30X would be $18, right? So less than a 30X. The entire crypto space is going to do 100X, right? The entire crypto space is going to do a 100X over the next, let's be conservative and say 10 years, really conservative 10 years. I would, I would bet 100X would happen within the next five. So will crypto.com have a seat at the table? I believe they will. There's nothing that would make me believe that they would not be at the seat of the table. And by seat of the table, I'm thinking top five. I'm thinking top five within the next five years. And by then, the entire crypto space is going to be possibly 100x larger than what it is now, purely looking at growth of users and how many new people are joining crypto, how many wallets are being opened, how much traction these different companies, even like Coinbase is getting, how many new users Gemini are getting and Binance and all these people, right? There's so many factors that we are going to 100x. So guys, that's the video for today. Thanks for watching. Hope this was fun and enjoyable. <laughs> Until next time, talk with you soon and bye for now.